Welcome to Palio's Chalkboard Thursday. If you're wondering, yes, that is a horse. We are shooting in Saratoga Springs, New York, home of the oldest thoroughbred racetrack and sporting venue in the United States, Saratoga Racecourse, and home to Palio. We're an advertising agency. Over the next few weeks, we are going to fill this chalkboard with insightful, thought-provoking topics around branding, marketing, and multi-channel integration within pharma. So sit back and enjoy Palio's Chalk Chat. Hi, my name is Saul Morse and I'm the Vice President for Multi-Channel Integration here at Palio and welcome to Chalk Chat. Last week we talked about six key factors in telling a compelling brand story across platforms. This week we're going to discuss five key ways to integrate your brand across multiple channels. Now there's no doubt that the competition for our customers' attention has dramatically increased. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, satellite radio, online television, iPads, or any other type of medium, the very nature of how we consume information and entertainment has profoundly changed in the past couple years. For instance, let's go back just two years ago and there were no iPads. If you're like me, you have no idea how you lived before they were around, and with their arrival, the way we consume information changed dramatically almost overnight. Now there is so much information bombarding us on a daily basis that the human brain can simply not take it all in. Our attention spans have grown ever shorter and we are quick to hone in on only the things that are relevant to us at that particular moment in time. Just a few short years ago, a 30 second TV spot seemed so short. If you've ever waited for a commercial now before that video you're trying to watch, you know how long 30 seconds feels like. So, with the huge number of media channels available as well as the short attention span and the need for incredible relevance, how do you help your brand stick out? I'm going to very briefly go through five steps that are often overlooked but can make a huge impact for your brand. One, rudderless technology. In other words, don't use technology for technology's sake. We see people do this all the time. They read about the latest, sexiest technology and instantly know that they need to use it without really thinking about it first. On the technology front, I can't tell you how many times I've seen someone say that they need a particular piece of hardware or a specific software package before they've really defined what they need that particular piece of technology to do. Yes, in certain industries you do need to be bleeding edge, but the strategy in using technology needs to be sound, connect with your users, and adequately represent your brand. Number two is consistency. Make sure your brand concept is consistent across multiple platforms. In this arena, you want to make sure that your brand is well represented and easily identifiable. Make sure to use your logo, colors, consistent taglines, consistent imagery, and tone across all channels. Obviously, you can leverage the strengths of the individual medium here while keeping the consistency. For instance, if you have in your print collateral a speeding car, show that speeding car in action on your brand videos on YouTube, but make sure it's the same car. If one's a Ferrari and the other is a minivan, you've failed. Three is design to the platform. People consume content in different ways depending on the platform, so don't put long form written content on a Facebook post. No one will read it and you'll make yourself less relevant. Get the short point across and drive engagement on all your social media efforts and leave longer form content to printed pieces as downloaded content, as links if people want to explore more, etc. Messaging can still be consistent, but you have to tailor it for the medium. Four is cross traffic. Drive people between traf platforms. You use YouTube to drive people to your website. Use your website to get people to request more information. Get people to download your app, etc. By making sure content is relevant, you engage and once engaged, leverage the core strengths of each platform. Remember number two though, making your brand consistent across platforms. Number five, Watch your customers. Watch where they are and engage them there. Seems like a no-brainer, but we've all seen clients that insist on targeting a specific platform where there is little engagement. Doesn't mean you want to abandon it for all times, but there is constant tweaking needed. Don't just run, rush to a certain technology because it is flavor of the month. 2D barcodes are an excellent example of this. People are using them quite heavily now, but often not with a lot of rhyme or reason. Make sure the 2D barcode provides context within the campaign and provides real value. But first make sure your customers are using them. Early adopters put these on their materials, but adoption rate was low because people didn't know what to do with them. The software wasn't pervasive, nobody had really figured out a value proposition, and this ultimately led to confusion, uncertainty, and low adoption rates. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope this finds relevance in your world. Obviously, we'd love to discuss how to put these principles to work for you. Have a great day, and be sure to tune in for future Chalk Chat discussions.